guys, welcome to another edition of Chef Mooney. Coming to you from Mooney's Kitchen. Today's recipe, I'm going to do a vegetarian dish. We're going to do this um, pumpkin, we're going to stuff it. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to cut around here and take that centerpiece out, which you've kind of already done. And you cut all the way around until you get this pumpkin out. We're going to cut off all that stringy piece there and also we're going to get rid of all of that inside. And with a spoon, the back of a spoon, all you need to do is just push that flesh down, scrape it all down, touch of olive oil inside the pumpkin, and just massage that oil all the way through the side. Okay, there you go. Make sure your hands are nice and clean. Wash your hands. With the lid, I'm just going to chop that a nice little pumpkin salad later. There it is, that's the pumpkin all done. Um, the lid will then go on top. Let's get the filling sorted. So once we prepare our pumpkin, I'm just gonna pop that one to one side for the moment, show you the rest of the ingredients. I've got a couple of bread rolls here, and these are a whole grain. Great way of using up bread rolls if you need to. So some beautiful kale here, nice and fresh. There's probably about four cups there. I'm going to use some mushrooms, sliced mushrooms, and my fruit inside is going to be some beautiful cranberries. I'm going to toss those in. We're going to add some garlic, about three cloves of garlic, about one large red onion. You can use shallots, they would be fantastic as well. Uh, keeping with the nut flavour here, I couldn't get chestnuts, I really wanted to get chestnuts in here. Unfortunately, I hadn't, um, they're not uh, in season, so. Um, I'm using walnuts, there's a, about a half a cup of walnuts there. I'm going to use some cream. Now the spices in here, I've got a teaspoon of nutmeg and salt and pepper. There's about 500 mils of cream there. Olive oil, there's one cup of brown rice here and I've got a cup and a half of vegetable stock. So I've got some gorgeous thyme, lovely sage, fresh parsley and some rosemary. This is going to be fantastic. Now I'm also going to use some of this um, Machigo cheese. It is a nice nutty flavour and it's infused with a fruit, fruity finish. I thought that would be nice. You can use Gruyere or a good melting cheese would also be good. Okay, so I've added about a tablespoon of butter and I'm just going to toast the rice just for a second and then we're going to add the stock. We're going to turn the heat to low, cover it with a lid and we want to cook this now for about 15-20 minutes. Brown rice probably will take a little bit longer, maybe up to 30 to 35 minutes, nice and slow. I put that other pan with the rice onto the stove, just put a dash of olive oil in here so we can start cooking our filling while the rice cooks nicely. Some onions. And we want to cook these for about a minute or so so they go nice and clear. And we toss in our mushrooms. In with our garlic. Thyme is just a lovely herb and you can just sort of break it off and just pinch it through, give it a bit of a, a tap like that. Got some lovely sage here. I'm just going to snip a little bit of that in. And I love sage, I love sage with chicken. I'm going to add some rosemary and some fresh parsley. Just toss that in. I'm just going to add a little knob of butter in there. So in this recipe, you've probably got about two tablespoons of butter, one for the rice, another tablespoon here for your filling. In with this beautiful kale, earthy colours, nice and fresh. I'm going to toss in our walnuts. Now I'm going to toss in the croutons for the bread and that'll give the bread a chance to also incorporate those flavours. Now it's time to add the cranberries in. I can guarantee you this smells delicious. Now the rice is cooked, I haven't um, completely dried the rice out so there's a little bit of moisture still left in there. Okay, now 
it's time to add your cream filling to the pumpkin mixture and we're going to top it off with some beautiful grated cheese the cheese we'll be using in this recipe a little bit of olive oil on the top of the pumpkin there and I just pop the lid on touch of olive oil on the outside and then just just give it a just a bit of a probably better to use your hands because pastry brush yeah well my hands are clean just so it doesn't dry out in the oven Okay, so this now needs to go into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about an hour, depending on how big your pumpkin is and so on, and, how, and the strength of your oven, how quickly it cooks and so on. Nice and slow. Um, we'll test it in about an hour and see how we go. It's come out of the oven and it smells absolutely beautiful. Now it took about 15 minutes more than the hour, so an hour and 15. So let it rest for about 15 minutes and then we'll start cutting into it. Okay, so it's had about 15 minutes resting time now. I'm just going to remove that lid. There we go. Sprinkle a little bit of fresh herbs on the top. Combination of parsley, fresh sage, and that lovely thyme. into this. You're not going to get a perfect slice because the filling is going to be a little bit runny but it's lovely and soft. Take that pumpkin out. See if we can get some of that stuffing. It's gorgeous and moist. It's almost like a risotto. Beautiful and creamy filling with the rice. Absolutely gorgeous. soft pumpkin beautiful filling mushrooms and the rice are really good together Thanks again for watching my channel. Hope you give that recipe a try. It is absolutely delicious. Well worth every second that you spend on it. And as a centerpiece for Thanksgiving or the holiday season or Christmas or wherever, a New Year celebration, whatever the case may be, it's a stunner. It's a cracking recipe. Vegetarian, and there's gonna be a lot of people on that table who are meat eaters are gonna be looking at that and thinking, wow, I'd like to try that. Guys, thank you very much. I will see you on my next recipe next week. Take care.